is up again. YouTube Faros here with another episode of our Let's Play Red Mage in Final Fantasy XI. We're doing another Sandorian mission today. We're going to be doing 3-3. I kid you guys not, all right? I shit you not. I looked up 3-2. Someone in Sandoria wants some kind of crystal fish. And for 3-2, you have to walk your ass into the forest, fish up the fish, bring it back, get a cutscene, done deal. Or just buy it off the auction house. So we're doing neither of those. And <laughs> because, I mean, as hilarious as it sounds, I don't think it'd make a very good video. Um, I need crystals. I need crystals. Should be in my mog sack. I forgot to get crystals. Um, one, two. That would finish off one stack. And this would be another. Okay, so it said we need two to three stacks of crystals. We're going to try to just trade these and see if we get enough points to get mission 3-3. The reason I'm doing this is because this gives you rank points by turning in crystals to a temple knight in Sandoria anyway. You can do this in any nation, but the knights are different. They're not called temple knights, obviously. So um, you can check your rank points by going to status, going to profile, and you see that little bar? It's like almost all the way filled up for me. It says rank 3, rank points, and it's got that bar. Uh, when you turn in qu crystals, <laughs> you get more of those points. Now, there's a lot of missions that are not skippable, but some of the little derpy missions, like, go fish me this crystal fish. We need it. Like, that <laughs> that kind of shit is skippable. So, appointment to Juno. We have it. We traded in a little over two stacks, and it got us that. So, good stuff. I've always come at a good time, apparently. By the order of Kingdom of Sandoria, you are to head to Juno as ambassadorial touch. A... Yes, I'll take the mission. <laughs> All right, we're going to the chateau. We're talking to Halver before we can go. Um, yeah, let's get this. Let's get this video done quick. I'll see you guys at Halver. I don't know if I said it last video, but I love these pink trees in um, in Sandoria. These are these are trees from Japan. I forget what they're called. Let me know in the comments below what these trees are called if you know. They have a name. These pink ones. Uh, cherry trees? Are they cherry trees? They don't have cherries on them, but I think that might be what they're called. I think they might be called cherry trees. I'm not sure. But those are the prettiest trees ever, man. And they're in Sandoria, like, only this time of year. It's, uh, it's weird, dude. Final Fantasy XI, if you didn't know, I'm going on a tangent again, but here we go. Final Fantasy XI has straight-up seasons. Weather trends with the seasons and everything. There is a Vanna deal year. Now, I think it's different from the real year. Uh, that's yet to be determined. But I know that these pink trees are not always here. They just popped up a couple weeks ago, and they're awesome. They make Sandoria pretty, and I like that. Thank you, Square Enix. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's cool, man. I like how they switch up the cities all the time, you know, throughout the year. Halver will be right inside, and we'll see what he wants us to do. I think he's right here. He'll load in front of me. Oh, yeah. How about that? I know my Halver. What's up, buddy? Our relations to Juno are vital. Yes, because Juno are the big ballers of Vanadil. Wow. We will receive a letter of instruction, or from introduction, to Juno from His Majesty, King Destin himself? You've been granted audience with the king. Really, that's pretty sick. I don't know if I've ever seen this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> you see how it's like cut off so we still can't see him? Oh man, I'm walking into my red mage AF. This looks so sick. Just just how it should be, man. This is hype. <laughs> the guards are like, nah. That's the king of Sandoria. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen him. Destin, King Destin. I am Destin, King of Sandoria. Nice to meet you, King. He's got a crown and everything, man. Oh, the knights put their swords away. <laughs> That's so sick. Wow, they're appointing us as ambassador? Wow, that's badass. All right, 
I gladly accept to be ambassador of Sandoria. I'll rep that red all day. They need to give me a flag to run around with. Safe journey, Sparrows. Thanks, man. That almost seems kind of like a suspicious safe journeys to me. Did that seem suspicious to any of you? Like, as I'm walking out, he's like, safe journeys, Faros. <laughs> sending, sending me to my death or something. All right. So, <laughs> now the king wouldn't do that. Um, okay. I'm going to Rulud Gardens. So, I'm going to warp. And my warp is in Rulud Gardens. So, we'll be good to go. We're going to the Sandoria Embassy. Which is, it'll be like right in front of us. And then we'll talk to uh, somebody there, say, Yo, I'm the new ambassador. <laughs> What's up? We'll just, we're just going to walk in and be like, What is up? Sandoria Embassy, Faro is here with my new introductory letter. <laughs> Let's see what they say. They just like, they just boot my ass out the door. King Dustin, this guy's crazy. All right, this should be it right here. Sandorian Embassy. I don't think I've ever been in here either. This is kind of cool. I'm seeing stuff I've never saw before. Um, is this who we want to talk to? Yes. No cabrit. No cabrit. No cabrit. Welcome to Sandorian Embassy. Do you require assistance? Not really. Alright. Didn't know. I'm afraid the ambassador is away at the moment. You've heard of Delphicus Tower, have you not? The ambassador is presently inspecting that area. Her Excellency, Her Excellency, is scheduled to return soon. Oh, Wolfgang! This is my boy right here. I love this guy. This look, he looks just like me. He he's he's my alter ego. And me and him just own Van Deal. Every time shit's about to get real, Wolfgang comes in. He's there, man. He's a part of everything. Lord Wolfgang, to what do we owe this honor? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I think, I think he's captain of the Juno Duckle Guard. I think he's captain of it. That, that's his role. I just know he's a total badass knight. Sync audience with our ambassador. Apparently that's not me. I'm sorry, but Her Excellency has gone to investigate Delphicus Tower. I, we'll see more of this guy, I guarantee you. Delphicus Tower, what kind of investigation is it? Um, Monboro? I've seen him before. I think he's the doctor. He, he's like a... He, he's, he's Juno's doctor. Yeah, see? The ambassador has a rare affliction, and it's time for a checkup. <laughs> he's just trying to give her meds. <laughs> And Wolfgang's like, nah, man, don't go to the tower. Every patient needs a doctor. Nationally, status, or nationality and status matters not. What a bro. Okay, so Wolfgang's trying to tell us, hey, don't go near the tower, let her come back, but I, I bet we're going in. Um, please, uh, alright. Doctor saying he'll come back later. So where does that leave us? No cabrits? Sir Wolfgang is the captain of the guard of, for the Archduke. Archduke Gollum Nut. That's awesome, see? See, I, I know my Final Fantasy lore, man. I remember these guys. These are iconic characters that just walked in. You guys might not, you know, be feeling too much right now, but these these are big, important people to me because I've played this game for so long. So it's cool, it's cool seeing them back. Um... Hey, those of you who have played Final Fantasy 11 a long period of time, let me know in the comments below who your favorite character was. Like, your favorite character, you know, that's part of cutscenes that you interact with throughout the story. I think Wolfgang's my favorite character. So I'm just curious as to what you guys are. Why don't you go- <laughs> I like how Wolfgang tells us not to go, and then this guy's like, Why don't you go to Delphicut's Tower and report on the ambassador? <laughs> a fitting test for a newcomer. Yeah, okay. Tread lightly, places crawling with fiends. Um, he's telling me to think about getting some gear. LOL, I'm an AF3 plus 2, baby, let's go! Um, of course you were promoted for a reason, blah, 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 blah. He has faith in us. Okay, so, we're going to Delphicut's Tower. Now, I think this mission can be relatively quick. Oh, first we're getting a warp scroll. Hey, check this out. This artisan moogle right here, this one right here in front of the... 
in front of the Mog House in Rulu Gardens. He'll give you a free warp scroll once a day. Once a real day. Um, you, you just hit do nothing. And he's like, for being such a loyal customer, boom, have an instant scroll of warp. I love this guy. I get, I get a scroll of warp from him every day because I use him so much. Anyway, also this guy is who you buy your Mog Sack from. And you might be like, what's a Mog Sack? I think I've mentioned it before. But you see, I hit the menu key twice. I went to View House. I went to Mog Sack. Boom. That's 80 additional slots. You see this right here? 72 out of 80 slots. Not shared with my inventory. My inventory is 53 out of 80. That's an... It doubles your inventory. And you can put pull things into it. Watch. I'll take out these bomb carrots. These are for my chocobo. Boom. They go into my inventory. I put them back. Boom. 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 80 slot. 80 slot. This little guy sell, sells you one. It won't start out as 80 slot for you though. It'll start out, it just mirrors your inventory size. So let's say you have 30 slot inventory. This guy gives you an additional 30 slots for 10,000 gil. You only have to pay the 10,000 gil once. When you expand your inventory, you come back and talk to this guy and he, he brings your mog sack up to par. So you expand it to 35, come talk to him, then you get 35 slot mog slide for free. Um, yeah, so that is super useful. They are also in the three main starting cities. So if you have somebody give you some gil, uh, you can buy one right away and have double inventory just like that. That is the biggest tip I could give to new and returning players. Get a Mog Sack. Because inventory is a bitch in this game, man. If you're running around with only 30 slot inventory, I pity the fool who's running around with 30 slot inventory. You know what I'm saying? I've got 80 slot inventory, 80 slot Mog Slack, 80 slot Mog Locker, 80 slot Mog Satchel, 80 slot Storage, 80 slot Mog Safe. I'm not kidding you. I got 80 slot everything. And I'm still almost full, you know? Uh, okay, so that's my little segue there. Back to the mission. I, I teleported to Port Juno. By the way, you might see me do that in videos a lot. Um, I'll go in my mog house in one side of the city. I port out the other. You, you just got to do a quest in each city to be able to do that. Super useful. You see, instead of having to run through all Juno, I start in Rulud. I come out in Port Juno. And now we're running out to Quiffum. Now, I think I'm going to cut the video here. Uh because we're gonna have to run all the way to Delphicut's tower and oh well I'll explain this first this Delphicut key is gonna play I think I have this Delphicut key because I went all the way to the top of the tower before it's a huge tower I went all the way to the top and killed the notorious monster at the top saved his key um, if you don't have that I think you're gonna have to go all the way to the top kill the notorious monster and get that key um yeah but I'll show you how this mission will work if you have the key. <laughs> but if you don't, you'll have to read the wiki because we're on a schedule. So I am definitely cutting the video here. This is Quiffum Island. We're going all the way here. Delphi gets tower. You see, it's going to be quite a run. I'll see you guys in front of the tower. So that is Delphi gets tower. Man, and with draw distance, look, you can actually see to the top. Without draw distance plug-in and window work, I don't think you can see the top of the tower. I never looked at it like that, really. That looks fucking cool, man. Look at it. I'm sorry I keep like jerking my camera. That's a giant ass tower. So, look at this person looking for party. I'll cheer at them. Ooh, they're looking kind of nice in that Mithra RC. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> let's uh let's get into this tower, man. So I did read the article a bit. I have the Delphicut Tower T key, which is gonna make this very quick. Um. If you don't, this tower has 10 floors. You have to climb your way to the top, kill a notorious monster, like I said, it gives you the key. And then you can come back and do what I'm about to do. But since I have the key, we're just running right through this. So, go to Lower Delphicut's Tower. And E8, enter the basement. I don't think I have a map. Nope. You have to do a quest to get this map. Um, I forget what the seed fragment is. What is this? Stone glitters before you. That's a magic stone. Here's a little book. If you guys need a book, you can probably get sneaking invis from that. I don't need it. Um, I think we're going this way. Let's try to figure it out based on position. G10. Alright. So if we're going west, we'll be moving from right to left, which means the numbers will go down. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to 8. And then... E, F. Oh no, actually... Numbers go up and down. They're the y-axis. So we need to go north. 
and we need to go west. Yeah, yeah, we're going the right way. We're going the right way. See, we're going to run into E8 anytime now. E9. See, I was trying to figure that out mentally. You know, sometimes you can figure out where to go, even if you don't have a map. I actually think this is the door right here. Is this an E8? Yes. Sermat door. You gonna let me in? Door's firmly shut. I do have the key. I guess we have to trade the key. I hope it doesn't use the key. I don't think it uses it. I think I have it forever. Check your mog storages, mog safes, mog everythings for this key. If you think you may have gotten it in the past, because you may have stored it away like I did. Oh, and check that out. It gives us a key item. It gave us a key item, Delphicate key, so I guess even if I throw away this key, I'll still have the key item. But I refuse to throw it away. I'll keep it forever. <laughs> Just in case, man. Just in case. DJ sends me a message. Says, Grats on Sam99, by the way. I just noticed it in the video. Thank you, Jed. DJ, dead. Thank you. Um, shout outs to him. I'm playing a rift, man. I wonder if we can void watch teleport in here. I'm not sure. Um, okay. It says, once we go through the door, once in the basement, cross a large room to a small room and click the cement door. Okay, we're going to get another door. And we're just in here. We're looking for the ambassador, man. We're looking for the last, um, Sandor ambassador so if you're low level if you're level like 30 40 I bet these things these bogeys can beat some serious ass same with my last video on Davo I should have mentioned that um, I think these bogeys are higher level than those orcs were though so you're gonna want to bring some form of sneak and invis so you can get past those guys either that or bring high level help but it's not hard to get sneak and invis you know if you have dancer sub job or even dancer main job you can spectral jig that gives you sneaking in viz um you can buy prism powders and sneak oils off the auction house those give you sneaking in viz although those are kind of expensive so this is the large room i guess um i'm actually not sure where i'm going i wish i had a map we're supposed to be going towards m8 L7, LM. So we need to go a little south and a little east. This is probably it. This is probably it. L7. Doors firmly shut. I no, come on. This has got to be it. Fuck. It's like right on the line, dude. I know this is it. Hmm. I really feel like that's it. I wonder if we skipped a step. Maybe, maybe it's down here. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Before we panic, maybe it's down this path. Yeah, another door. <laughs> this has got to be it. This has got to be the door. Right, 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 right. L8. Come on. M8. See, we just had to take a little step forward. Boom. See, no panic. We got it under control here. Is the ambassador behind door number two? Tune in next time. Wouldn't it be funny if I cut the video right there? Oh, no. Jima, what happened to her? <laughs> She's like, <"Ugh." laughs> who are you? Not a foe, it seems. No. Glad you found me. I'm Jima, ambassador to Sandoria. <laughs> God, the first thing that came across my head was just, bitch, I'm ambassador of Sandoria. <laughs> Alright, so you were sent on a mission to, uh, I see, I'm truly sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry you're still. Am I that I was fool enough to let down my guard? Yeah, seriously. I was struck from behind. She got ninja attack? I woke, wow. Hmm. Take care, adventure. I will leave this place while I, st okay, so we rescued her. Is that it? We saved the day? We saved little Jima? I think that's it. Let's go back to Rulu's Gardens. Man, we still haven't killed anything. We haven't killed anything in the last two episodes. I refuse to not kill anything. All right, all right. Let's see if we can one-shot something. We don't have the best gear. We don't have any Atmas in Old World. But we're going to get this Gigas Butcher. A little thunder. About to get thunderstruck. Come on! Kill him! Oh, no! Oh. Is that a resist? Yeah, I think that was a resist on Thunder. 
God damn it. You don't deserve to be killing things. At least we two shot him. His little bats are still fighting me. Are you serious? Alright. Alright, shit's about to go down. Shit's about to get real. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. I had to kill something. It's been too long, man. I've got my trigger fingers itchy. I was just... Uh, I wanted to get that Thunder 4. Man, and you see, Blizzard 4 was was good. It hit for over 1,000, but Thunder 4 resisted. Partial resist. It only hit for 600. We should have one-shot that Gigas. That kind of pisses me off. I even put on the staff for it, man. I didn't have to do that. I even put on the staff. So I wouldn't get resisted. Sad face. So sad right now. I feel like I let you guys down collectively. I, you know, I thought I thought about doing these missions on my 99 Samurai. You, you heard Zed. I got Samurai 99 recently. I've been pimping it out. I got a badass great katana. I've got badass gear. Well, I won't say badass gear. My gear's not badass at the end of the day compared to the people in this game. You know, they have godlike gear. But I've got a decent starter set of gear, and he looks badass, you know? So I was thinking about playing him. It would have been more fun to play Samurai, it would have been a little more epic, but we started Let's Play Red Mage and I figured, hey, we should keep going with Let's Play Red Mage. But if you guys want to see some Samurai in the videos, just let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Alright, um, proceed into her office, but oh, where's her, oh. Sandori Embassy, I don't know where I'm going. Through this door, probably, target out of range, okay. Let's see what's up. Here she is. Little Jima. She made it back before we did and we warped. What you got for me, Jima? No, I brave the dangers all the time, girl. Don't worry about it. Slash salute. I hereby assign you, Faros, the post attache of the Embassy of Juno. May you apply all your powers for the sake of the motherland and her friendship with Juno. Will do. Rank four, baby. Let's go. Moving up in the world. No more rank three next to my name. I like that. You know, I don't like being rank four that much either. I think I'm just going to power through all this today. <laughs> but, but, four is better than three. So, she says, prove yourself and I might have need of you later. When the time comes, I hope you can help me as you did before. 5,000 gil? She gave us 5,000 gil from rescuing her from that tower. That's not so bad. I mean, I kind of saved her life. I thought it might be a little bit more, but I'm not going to complain. 5,000 gil is 5,000 gil at the end of the day. All right, guys. I'm Audi. This has been Sandorian Rank Mission 3-3. We are now Rank 4. Let's see that nice little 4 next to our name as it updated. Boom. Rank 4. Next video will be Rank Mission 4-1. Which is a bitch, I think. We might be on Samurai soon. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I will see you next time if you continue turning, tuning in to the series. I appreciate you guys who are watching. Thank you so much for the support. See you guys next time. Peace. Out.